Hey guys, we are going to multiply numbers in scientific notation today. If you need a quick overview reminder of what scientific notation is, I will link a video in the corner for you. But let's go ahead and multiply these. Okay, good news when we multiply numbers in uh, scientific notation is our exponents don't have to be the same. Okay, when you add and subtract these, you want your exponents to be the same. When you multiply them, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I can just go ahead and multiply these. So when I multiply these, what I do is I'm going to multiply these decimals. Okay, so I'm going to take 2.32 and multiply it by 1.2. I'll also link a video in the corner if you need a refresher on multiplying decimals. Okay, when we multiply decimals, we don't have to line the decimals up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply these. 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times 3 gives me 6. 2 times 2 gives me 4. Have my little placeholder there. One times two gives me two. One times two gives me three. One times two gives me two. Thank you for going on that beautiful journey with me. All right. Four plus zero gives me four, eight, seven, two. And then I go ahead and count how many numbers are behind decimals here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And put my decimal there. Okay. So I have 2.784. Times 10 to what power? Okay, when I multiply these, I am going to add the exponents. Okay, if you need an exponent review, again, I'll link a video in the corner. But I'm going to add these. 4 plus 3 gives me 7. So when I take this big number, multiply it by this big number in scientific notation, I end up with 2.784 times 10 to the seventh power. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. If it did help you, if you could hit the like button, I would appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.